Hi, on this lesson we will add the search by utility which will enable the user to search either by username or by email. So if for example I choose to search by username and start by typing part of the username I will get an auto list. By clicking any item I will be redirected to the edit users page with a query string of the ID equals the username. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. So in order to start this tutorial, you will have to install the jQuery UI plugin. So first make sure that you are online and go to tools, NuGet package manager and manage package manager for the solution. And go to browse here and search for jQuery UI. Okay. Install the first one which is uh, jQuery UI combined. Click here and install it over the entire project and click on install. So it confirms that it will make, make uh, it's going to make changes to my solution. I'll press OK and it will take a while until jQuery UI get installed. OK, it's finished. Now let's close this one. However, the installed plugin is installed with its default theme so everything is white and black so if you want another theme of the jquery ui you have to go to the jquery ui website jqueryui.com and choose by yourself the theme that you want and it seems to me that this theme is matching with our website colors the brown color so if you click here and click on uh, let's first review it seems okay so if you click here and click on download it will be downloaded as a zip file so click on download so by opening the file and go here to jquery ui minified.css as this is a file we will refer at inside the site.master page extract it then copy it then go here to your application then go to the content folder themes base and right click on the base and right click paste so this will overwrite it and that's all and in my opinion it will be a good idea to refer to the jquery ui javascript file and css file inside the site.master page in order for all the pages inside our website to benefit from it. So inside the site master I will add a reference for the file jquery ui minified.css and it might be tempting to add a reference for the javascript file as well by dragging and dropping it. However this will lead to a potential problems on the future as all the pages that should benefit from this file should be located on the root folder because of the source URL. For example, the pages located inside the folder account will not be able to find this file as it will try to search for a folder called scripts inside the account folder. However, in the CSS file case, this problem will not happen as the master page usually loads first along with all of the style sheets it might include then the contents of the disciple page load later. So instead, I will go here and create a new reference for the JavaScript as I can type here the tilde sign which refers to the root directory. So wherever the page the site.master is calling, it will read this script. So let's return to our users manager page and add the markup that I'm going to use for the search. I will add here a input field. I will not add a server text box as no code behind page will be applied here. All the code will be written inside a service file and the functions inside this file will be called using JavaScript. So let's paste it here and before we paste, I think we should add a break tag. So this input has a type text, so it will be a text box, has the ID of text search and has a placeholder of search by. In order to make the jQuery UI returns the list of users, we will have 
to create a web service file so in order to do that let's go here and add a new folder and this folder I will call it web services and inside the web services I'm gonna create a new file which is a web service file and I will call it for example identity as this file will hold all the identity uh, functions and methods that I will use for the Ajax purposes now let's click on add and the first time the file open you will find here a, a message to allow this web service to be called from script using ASP.NET Ajax uncomment the following line so for sure I will have to uncomment this line and there is a default function here I will erase it so public sub get user names and I will dem so I will use the link language in order to get a list with all the users inside the website so dem db is new application db context okay then dem users equals bracket from u in db dot users order by u dot u dot first name select new is curly bracket and the first field is dot id so id will be the property and the property will be equal to the user's id so u dot id and what else I want something called a label a property called label and I will give it the value of u dot first name plus space plus u dot last name so by now the user's variable type is a visual basic array whereas the jQuery UI autocomplete plugin accepts only arrays in a JSON format so let's see how to transform a visual basic array into a JSON array let's first import system.web.script.serialization and let's hear them js as new javascript serializer so context.response.write js.serialize the users now let's save all and let's test out the identity.asmx let's rebuild our project and let's first refresh our page and we have an error here okay I think I know what is the problem I have missed here the closing bracket so let's save all and rebuild our solution again okay now let's go here and refresh okay this is a new text box but let's uh, refer to the web services so web slash identity dot asmx and let's actually type this url in a new window okay there is only one sub here so i will click on the invoke and this is what we will get a json format so it's a json array the array starts with a square bracket and then inside this array there is objects each object starts with a curly bracket and ends with another curly bracket so the id is the user id and the label is the username first name and last name and so on so there is three users here with three curly brackets so now our web service is working properly so back to visual studio and user manager dot js and and on dom loaded i will write the following so text search dot autocomplete so the autocomplete requires something called the source in other words the json user's name list remember we have typed it here on the get user name so how to invoke this get user name function inside our javascript file in order to do that let's do it on a separate line here and let's type the jquery ajax function and ajax requires a list of properties to be specified the first property is the url what is our url our url is double dots then slash double dots slash web 
services folder slash identity dot asmx slash function name or the subroutine name so let's go here user names and it's case sensitive by the way what is the next parameter here the next parameter is the method the method should be usually set to post and it should be always post as long as you refer to a web service file as the web service files don't read any query strings included in their URL therefore the get method is useless in that case so method equal post and the third thing is the data type the data type expected is JSON and it's very important to write that and the last parameter is the success in other words what will happen if the data invocation succeeded okay so let's type here function on success there is a function will run its anonymous function this function will give us the user's data so the function will give us a result okay this result is the user data for me I will type users and let's go here and cut our text search dot autocomplete and paste it here okay now the source should be the user and the next parameter is the select in other words what will happen if you select an item from the menu so it's not mandatory to write anything here but our example the user is clicking the username and once he clicked it he will be redirected to another page which is a edit user so I will have to type here function and this function has two arguments event and the second argument is a UI I will go to window dot location dot href equals the edit user page so remember the user's manager located inside the same folder of the edit user so I will have to type edit user question mark the ID of that user will be equal to UI dot item dot ID okay so as you remember here we have the ID is like that and the label is like so if I were typed ui.item.label it will guide me to another page which is edit user question mark id for example Hazem Khalil id for example Muhammad Isam let's test our page now save all and let's go ahead and refresh our browser okay let's start by typing so let's type Hazem once you start typing an auto list will appear and you can select whatever you want if you click on Hazem Khalil you'll be redirected to another page okay now what is the second step the second step is to add a drop-down list for the user to decide whether he wants to search by username or by the email so in order to do that I will open the notepad and copy those markup lines here and go to users manager and delete this one and replace it with the input group so the input group consists of two things the text which will search and the drop down list and by the way this is also an HTML drop down list which contains two items one is the username and the other one is the email so let's save all let's go to the users manager .js. when when the drop search by actually let's close this one when the drop search by changes function okay then what then I will type here if this dot val equals username then do the following what is the following that code here I will copy it I will not cut it because on page load I need this one to be in its place and what else else what will happen is 
the following the same one but we will have to define another function here called get emails so let's copy that and paste it and let's rename this one to get emails and change a little thing here which is the u dot email okay so paste it here and change only the this one to get emails okay I I forgot to type the hash here so let's refresh our page this is the ordinary one so let's search by email okay it's working fine still there is a little thing here that will make the user tired as when he changed to his username he will have to select all of this text here and delete it and start by typing in order to spare our effort so once the drop search by change it I will type here text search dot select okay so let's save all let's refresh when I search for Muhammad Isam and go back and switch the search to email it will select it in order to start immediately type the emails that I'm searching for okay this makes us come to the end of our tutorial however I want to show you another method for writing this code because the Ajax function is very long function so I will show you a smaller version of the Ajax function which is the post function so the post function is a special case of, of the Ajax function and doesn't require all of this markup so let's first comment this one and let's type here dollar dot post and, the post and inside the post function the first parameter you have to specify is the URL so the URL is as we have typed before is web services and what about the second parameter the second parameter is the functions parameter so if you go back here there is no parameter for the get username so I will leave those curly brackets empty the third parameter is what will happen when success when success I will type function okay and don't forget inside the function to type users type users type result whatever you want so I will type users here and what will happen then I will copy the text search dot autocomplete as it is okay so control C control V and let's uncomment those lines okay I think everything is fine except one thing this function actually when I run it it will give me an error so let's refresh the page here and let's start by typing the username and if you inspect here the console you will find an error here because this is a bad request why this is a bad request because this is not a JSON format its users and as you might remember we have defined here the data type on the previous function as JSON so in order to compensate the absence of the data type property we will have to type here dollar dot parse JSON the users okay this will parse the users into a JSON format and the function will success so let's refresh now let's start by typing okay so you can actually use this smaller version of the Ajax function and this is what I'm going to use on the rest of the videos one final notice when times come and you decide to publish your uh, website inside an external server 
most probably the ASMX file and all of the AJAX function you have written here will not work so when you start typing here any name it will not give you the autocomplete list and I actually spent about three days to discover the reason and I have discovered that the reason behind that is that you should copy those lines here and paste them as they are inside the web.config file inside the configuration system.web you have to paste those lines as they are as many publishing website servers are blocking the HTTP post and the HTTP get by default so this covers our tutorial and as a homework I want you to create a table which holds all the roles inside the website and give the admin the ability to delete any role thanks for watching if you like the video please press like